Hi there, I'm Sherry from Cub Scout Ideas, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the awesome stomp rocket launcher and rocket builder um, that I showed you in the video on Facebook um, a couple days ago. So let's talk first about what you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is a big piece of PVC pipe. Um, this is one half inch in diameter, and it's a 10 foot piece. It's very cheap. I think I paid less than $3 for this entire 10 foot piece. You are also going to need a couple of uh, smaller pieces of 3 quarter inch diameter PVC pipe. Now, I have my handy dandy PVC pipe cutter. Um, I bought this last year when I was working on some Weebelows projects, and I think, again, it was around $10, $12, um, but it is definitely useful. You can also use a hacksaw for this project. So it's up to you. You're going to need um, a ruler and a pencil. You're going to need a soda bottle, just an empty two liter soda bottle. Duct tape, I love me some colored duct tape. You're going to need this little PVC cross thing. This is a three quarter inch cross, so it's got openings on all four sides. In addition, you're going to need some conduit um, pieces. Now this conduit stuff is gray and it is not found in the, um, in the area with the plumbing supplies, which is where you find the PVC pipe. This is actually found in the electrical supplies. Now one piece needs to be a 90 degree angle and it's, it's going to look fatter on one end and smaller on the other. Then you're going to need two pieces of 45 degree angle. You're gonna need this little adapter. And what this is, is this is a half inch adapter. And you notice how this end we have a, is a little bit bigger so that a half inch pipe can fit in there. This makes this end like this end. This was, I think, about 25, 30 cents. So it's very, very inexpensive. Okay, so that's all of our supplies. And we are going to start constructing now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut your half inch PVC pipe. And the first piece that I need is a four foot piece. So I'm gonna take my little handy dandy tape measure. And I'm going to measure off four feet. going to mark it with my pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my four foot piece with my little PVC pipe cutter. And all you're going to do is you're going to put your blade on the on the four foot section and then just start um, ratcheting it together. The half inch pipe is not so hard to cut. You just have to take a few tries of punching this together and boom. Next, you need a two foot section. So again, we're just gonna measure it out. And cut that section. Same thing, just ratchet it together. And we have our two foot piece. You're gonna have an extra two foot piece, but we are gonna use that for something else. Okay. You're also gonna need two one foot sections of three quarter inch PVC pipe. So now we're just gonna do the same thing we did before, do our little measurements, mark it, and use our PVC pipe cutters to do our um, cutting again. Because the three quarter inch is larger in diameter, it's a little bit harder for me to cut. So I definitely have to use both hands. Okay. 
there we have our two one foot sections. Okay, so we're going to use some duct tape to attach the soda bottle to our four foot piece of PVC pipe. Now the the bottles when you're using these bottles as your um, as your uh, I guess propellant um, after so many stomps on them they are going to start to wear out a little bit and you are going to need to replace them. Now I when I found this project there is an option to fix this so that you don't have to um, untape and retape every time and I may show you that in another video but for right now we're just going to show you how to put this on here. Is I'm just going to hold the bottle onto the end and I'm just going to start wrapping it. You want to make sure you get a really good seal on this. because you don't want the air escaping through here, you want all the air to go through the PVC pipe. Now when you get to the end, because you do have to replace the soda bottles after so many stomps, you want to fold your tape over like this, just so that you've got you know, a little tab that you can pull on instead of having to spend your time trying to unravel that. Okay, so once we have this part done, we are through with that. What you want to do with one of your two foot pieces of PVC pipe is you want to taper the edge of the, the outside edge so that when you put your rocket over it, it, it is a lot easier to, to slide that rocket on there. Now, you could use a file to do this, but let me show you a really cool way to do it. And what you're going to do is place the edge of the PVC pipe on the concrete and you're just going to pull it towards you and then turn it, you can see me uh, turning the PVC pipe as I'm doing this. Now after we finish beveling this you'll see that there are some rough edges here from, from actually scraping the plastic off on the sidewalk. You can just sort of pull these off. Um, we don't need that, so you can just discard that. Now, if, it's, if you can't get all of it off, you can rub it on the sidewalk again and just it'll come right off. You want to check this a little bit and see if it's if it's got the right amount of um, beveling on here or tapering. If not, just do it a little bit longer and it should work out perfectly. Now we're ready to assemble our rocket launcher. The first thing that we're going to do is take this 90 degree conduit angle with the little adapter on the end going to make sure that adapter's in there well. And we're going to just put that on the end of our four foot piece of PVC pipe that has the soda bottle attached. And just shove it in there. Then we are going to take one of the two foot sections of PVC pipe and put it in the other end so that you've got this little angle here. Now we're going to make our legs by taking our two 45 degree angles and we're going to take a piece of that three quarter inch PVC pipe and push it in one end like that. Same thing with the other one. Then we're going to take our cross, slide it over the end like this. Now one thing to note, our tapered end of the PVC pipe needs to be at the top. I don't think I told you that earlier. So you've got this contraption here and you've got these pieces. You just take this end, put it in here, then you take the other end, put it in the other side, then you've got your PVC rocket launcher. Now the thing I love about this design is that we didn't glue anything together so it's very easy to take this apart and transport it or store it or do whatever you need to.
Go.